Welcome back to Something for the Weekend with Mr. Williston. Um, who's guilty? Who's guilty of getting lots of packages over the past couple of weeks? I certainly am. Um, and what have you been doing with that packaging? Well, what I've been doing is I've been actually collecting quite a lot of it because I've been making a project out of it when I get back to school. Um, but I've also been using it for my own work because actually cardboard um, can be a great source of material to use for a base. Um, lots of artists use it. There's a guy called Guy Denning, who is a English artist, but he lives in France. He's actually part of the Bristol urban art scene, and he does some really creative um, things with using cardboard as his base. You can use it just as it is, or you can whitewash it. When you whitewash it, I would suggest you just use white emulsion. White emulsion is a good base for any paint to go on to. Um, so once you've whitewashed it, what you can do is you can draw on your story or your picture, I've done a vase of flowers here, but I kept some of the detail, like the uh, barcode and so on. I really actually um, put my cup of coffee on top. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to work into it just with some um, felt tip pen. Um, you can use anything. I've, I've used fine liner, I've used paint, I've used inks, um, and you can just work into it. Um, it's just a really, really interesting format that we can use that can actually also become quite personal because if you've got things like your address on it or maybe um, some detail that's related to you the work can become really personal and I think that's really important when you look at something like collage a lot of people just use collage as a collage material but sometimes if you're using collage you should be retelling a story with the collage something like Picasso and Bright used collage because it was hanging around in their studios um, but the collage material was related to that period of time and that date I'm just going to soften some of this, these edges just with um, some water. Um, so as I said, what you can do is you can use fine liner, you can use biro, you can use paint, you can use absolutely anything. But what it does give you is a really nice technique um, to use. Now, I did uh, a painting uh, earlier on, a 15 minute painting, and I used myself. Um, which is something we all have. We have a mirror, we have pictures of ourselves that we can all use. Um, and I also did a drawing of Nether Soul, which you can see. Um, just to remind you that the Nether Soul competition is still going ahead. And I chose to do a kind of wintry cold scene on mine. So once that's dry, I can go back into it. I can start to do the background. I can start to kind of bring in lots of different things. But the main thing about it this week is not what you're drawing really, it's actually the surface you're drawing on and the fact that you don't need to actually get a sketchbook. You don't need to get a brand new canvas. You can just use the materials that are around you. Um, and in fact, on the another soul one, I used um, household paint, not just white emulsion, but blue paint. So I said there's a guy Denning, who's the, who's the English artist. Alfred Wallace worked on um, fine materials and he, used, he actually just used fine paint as well. And there's also Clayton Lewis, who's a, um, an envelope artist. And with some used envelopes, you can even just, just work on, on, on envelopes. So use the materials around you. Um, it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. Um, and make the most of it actually, because also be aware that I will be doing a project on this when we get back to school at some point. So have a great weekend, um, use your packaging, do some art and enjoy it.